Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on our video. If you're new, welcome to Eddie Family Farm. We're glad that you clicked on one of our videos and we hope you choose to stay and join our YouTube family. We have a great community here and uh, we've had some loyal subscribers since day one that's been with us from the very beginning. And uh, big shout out to y'all for all y'all's love and support and prayers for our farm and our family. I just wanted to throw that in there. And as y'all see, the goats are lining up over there. Yes, we have been, we have been making them learn some new things on the farm. And we got sad news for Kaysen and good news for Kaysen. So that's going to be revealed in today's video. Um, he is going to be a little bit heartbroken at first, but we're going to catch him up on some good news and we'll let y'all know that in just a second. And looks like Steph let out the, the ponies yesterday and did some separation. And uh, the two males, they're learning to get along with each other. And the stud and all of them you put over there, right? No, these two are the studs. The gilded one? The, no, he's out too. Oh, he's out too? Yeah, I went ahead and just let the three that were out so the mare and then the stud and gilding is out with Romeo. And yes. then, because they're all big enough to be out with each other, I just put the young, like Stevie, Juliet, and then also Milky Way looks to be smaller than these right. horses also, so. And then, as you can see, <clears throat> the chicken kennels are still up. We did put T-posts around them, mm -hmm. And then today, somebody sent us some anchors. So yeah, ground anchors. Ground anchors. But we're in Oklahoma. We'll be able to use them somewhere. We got other pins, and I may go ahead and use some of them just to make sure they don't blow over in yeah. front of the gate and stuff. So um, this little guy here, he's starting to come up to us a little bit more. He's getting a little bit friendlier. Layton named him, I think, Twix. Twix. His well, eyes really, really red. It's always been like that. I don't know. Yeah. So, but come here, Twix. No. Well, you don't you don't get food if you don't come here. <laughs> so, anyways, let's go. This is about day five or six that the goats have had to eat inside here and work their way through the chute so we can start working them. If it's nice tomorrow, it may be in this video. I'm not for sure, but um like i say we really don't we just go with the flow you know um, but if it's nice tomorrow me and steph might start working them and uh, look at them before in that video i just released not a few days ago we had to work really really hard to get them back there but they're going to all line up right here and they're going to wait for me look at them come hey now billy be nice. We're gonna open it. The babies get in and out whenever they want. All right. I know. I see y'all. I see y'all. So they know. They know they they can actually run through here now. So what today? What I'm going to do is I'm going to unwire this and make this to where they got to hit that door because when they hit that door, that's when it locks. But I'm going to make this to where when they hit that door, it automatically opens. Kind of right there. So I'm going to put some wire. Bushwhacker just got Juliet. Or Ju Juliet just got Bushwhacker good. He was trying to ride her. Oh. <laughs> And like I say, this here is just going to train them to hit the door so it catches their uh, head when it comes through. Yeah, that wind's crazy, but that's just part of it. So we're going to make them work through their, through everything today. Close it off. Now they're going to wait. We're going to go ahead and open it up. Mm 
Yep. They're waiting. Go. Yep. Come on, Brownie. We'll get a few of them in here. <laughs> now we got them wanting to come in. Well, I guess we'll let all them go in at once. <laughs> Got you. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. It's good. Hit your head in there. There you go. There you go. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. It might take us a little bit to get used to that. Come on. Come on. Go to go. Go, 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 Good job, good job. Look at there you. There you go. That's good. I didn't want that baby to get hurt. You can do it. Come on. Come on, go to go. Go, go, go. Come on, Gracie. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're okay. Come on. We'll teach you. Go. Go. It's good. Go. Push. Push, go. When you get stuck in a fence like that, they try to pull their head out. Come on, come on, come on, Gracie. Come on, come on, come, come on, come on. You're okay. Put your head in there. Now go, come on, push. My goodness, girl, you don't want to go, do you? We'll let them all run like that for a day and then come back and do it slowly. They got to push each other out. <laughs> That'll work. He's underneath. Good job, guys. Good job, good job, good job. This right here is how you train your goats. All right, looks like we got most of them down here. Look at this dude. He took off with the, the bucket. That's what you get for stealing the bucket. <laughs> all right, guys, so we got them all through here. Um, they all went through really good. Um, hopefully tomorrow, it'll be a little bit better. Um, like I said, we're just gonna add that step until we get them to where they will actually hit. Um, because when they do hit it, when they get used to it, it'll actually catch their neck and um, we'll be able to squeeze them and do all that. So they're going, yeah, I'm fixing to go get y'all some feed. I'm fixing to go get y'all some feed. Yeah, let me get my bucket here. All right, guys, so the goats are all down there now. I'm going to go get some feed and uh, so many of y'all been asking about the the uh the horses or the ponies they're over here and then we got the donkeys back here on the far side which we haven't showed them in a little while so i'm going to show you a little bit of uh the three donkeys we got on the very end and hopefully by then casing's home we get to share the good news and the bad news unfortunately dear lord looks like we're starting to get low on feed again 
Yep. Y'all turkeys like that feed, huh? Here. Y'all like that? Here. There you go. You gotta be nice though. You gotta be nice. You gotta be nice. Hey girls, how are y'all? There's your baby. All right, I'll bring y'all's dog food over here in a minute. All right, we're gonna go over here and feed. Um, the kids have got a ball game tonight, so that's why we're kind of starting chores a little bit early. We'll feed Dixie, but we'll still have time to show Kaysen his surprise. I've, and that's, that's the deal, is one of these I've wanted I've wanted one ever since we lived in town, and uh, it's going to be awesome to see his face. Back up. I guess they took the scoop back over there. I tell you, we got really, really lucky with the storms last night. They missed us and we didn't have to take shelter, but it got a little scary there for a little bit, but luckily it, it went right between us. Well, looks like the kiddos are home now. So uh, that's gonna be perfect timing. We'll feed them and then come back down here. Hey girls and boys. Hey girls and boys, come on. Come on. No. I just got to, we're going to show some surprises in a minute. Look at them. That's a chocolate hen, one of the chocolate hens we raised from a baby. And uh, we need to get her back in the pen. But she stays over here with the donkeys and, yeah, she stays. And this is the, the one that is really, really shy, but I will say she is getting better. She is getting better. But what I'm hoping is, once we get actual gates up, like we have over here with the goats, that we can do, the kids will probably do more interaction with them because the gates we got now is wire, but it's just going to take a little bit of time to get everything else like we want. Yes, guys, I'm gonna go get y'all some food. Go and go get y'all some food. We don't grain everything a whole bunch, but we do give them little snacks here and there. So, looks like the babies are doing good. Yeah, we're gonna walk in here and check on the babies real quick while Kaysen and the kids get their book work and all that get their book work and all that up. Hey cowboy, what you doing buddy? Huh? What you doing? There's old Jerry. Jerry, what y'all doing? There cowboy. Cowboy been doing some fighting too buddy. You been fighting Jerry? Huh? You been fighting Jerry? There's Jerry. I hate that no, I don't want to hold you down, but you're going to be nice. Jerry, you're nice. Yeah. You better not. So I don't know what the deal is. Jerry got real aggressive after we left. We, we was gone five days, four or five days, and we come back, and he, he's aggressive. So he's kind of upset we left him, but we're trying to make it up to him and just love on him every single day. Yeah, you got a big old beard. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We're just gonna love on you every day until you get nice again, huh? It'll take a little bit of time, but we'll eventually get there. See what the babies are doing in here. Y'all hanging out in there, staying out of that wind? Huh? Yeah. We gotta get some ear tags in y'all soon. And that's one of the things that we was going to do. We was going to ear tag them and, and, and separate them, but 
we didn't realize we was gonna have to train the goats to go through it. Now we can fight them every time, but I'd rather train them. That way we ain't got to push them and you know, they do their own thing. But um, we're gonna say hi to Cowboy and then we're gonna go find Kaysen. Cowboy. Look at you, you've been doing all a little bit of fighting. Everybody's been want, wanting to know what's been going on with you, but looks like you're fighting now. Huh? Who you been fighting with? <laughs> cowboy is one of our first chickens we ever raised. We got Cowboy through the mail about in 2020s when we, when we got Cowboy. So he's about four years old now. And uh, also you can tell their age by the by the length of their spurs as well. I mean, right there's a, a three or four year old, um, which I know he's right about four years old. But yeah, old Cowboy's got him a shirt out there. I think we may end up making Jerry a shirt. Everybody, everybody enjoys Jerry and likes Jerry, so we may end up making him a shirt. We're trying to get some more merch together. I know y'all keep sending us emails. Um, we're working on it. Just know we're working on it, and they'll be out soon. So you better not be fighting Jerry. Jerry, get a hold of you. <laughs> Y'all don't be fighting now. I think they may be fighting. I don't know, but they'll work it out. And uh, let's see if there's any babies laying around in here real quick. Well, it looks like they're all down there with Mama and them. So we're gonna go up here and get Kaysen and give him good news and bad news. All right, so Kaysen has finally made it back from school. Layton's with us. And uh, we got some good news, but we got some bad news. So it's about your chickens. You want the I good think news I'm... or the bad news first? Good news. Bad you want news. the good news? We're gonna show you the bad news first. So okay. come on in here. So as y'all know, he's had some eggs setting for a while and uh, they're supposed to hatch yesterday so this is our merch room slash um, incubator, incubator room. room chicken room whatever um, so I don't know if you've seen the last video but if you did um, we set some eggs about 21 days ago um, from our chickens here and we went through and candled them um, which when we candled them, out of 41 eggs, that's all we had left. You want to drop that to the side there? And um, we kind of been looking at them, but I'm not for sure if any of them's going to actually hatch, though. Um, there's 18 of them. Was that a tweet? Yeah, I just heard that. <gasps> Wait, look. Oh, there's a hole. The what? The hole. A oh, well, no, that's that's just part of the egg. No, no, no. Oh, no, it is. It sure is. So there is one in there. Wonder how many more is it? Which my deal was, and I said it's bad news, is because we had 41 eggs in here and 18 of them had something in them, but not all 18 of them look like they are going to actually. Have, that finish. one has to hatch tomorrow. So this will Hopefully be bad news. Yeah, so, but we'll roll them around. Go ahead and put them back on. Dad. Um, Dad. What? What is that uh, line thing? What line that, thing? On this egg back there. Let's see. Move. Oh, that's, oh, that's mud. mud. Anyways, guys, um, as y'all know, we've used these incubators for the last two or three years when we lived in town hatching quail. And, um, you know, the hatch rate isn't very good on them. But um, I told told late or I told Kaysen if you know he would help and all the kids would help, we would end up trying to get a better incubator for all the eggs we're getting because we're getting a bunch of eggs now. What is the bad news? Huh? That was the bad news. All the all the chicken eggs didn't hatch. Oh. So, um, anyways, let's go up here and I'm going to show you the good news. Hopefully, this is going to change things for the farm. All right, I'm super excited about this. Not only is it just Kaysen's, Kaysen's surprise, but I've always wanted one of these just because I love hatching things. So open that door up. 
<laughs> oh my! I think I, I seen this on a commercial. You seen it on a commercial? Yeah. Well, let's get it out here and take a look at it. Remember, we saw that big old thing on uh, that commercial? Uh-uh. Did it look like that? Yeah. Oh. How do you know what it looks like? Because I've seen it on commercial. Oh, <clears throat> there it is. Let's go down here and take a look at it. Will we open it? Uh, we might. Is that too heavy? Is it moving? Dad, how much did that cost? I don't know. A thousand bucks? <laughs> I don't know. We went in a, a camper. Huh? We went in a camper. Yeah, we may put it in a camper. All right, guys, so it's time to open this dude. There it is. Check out the top of that baby. Oh my. Wow. That's what it looks like. Look at that bad boy. I, I told you. You told me. All right. All right. Put this to the side over there. Now this here, we take very, very good care of it. Oh, I can't stand that. Mm. Mm -mm. No, like stop. Oh, I thought it was because of his hands. You need to tear this side off or this out. Hold on, hold on. Just for recording purposes, um, we're not discussing what brand this is. Um, we're going to use it and make sure it's something that we really like before we actually buy discuss um, buy what it. kind of brand it is. Because I'd hate to tell you that, hey, this is a good product. And then somebody go out and buy one, and it's not a good product. So or you, you can just uh, look at it and you can buy it. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, if you see anything blurred out, that's the reason why. Um, you know, I always like trying to test products out, especially um, when they cost a little bit. Um, it was pretty pricey, so um, I want to try it out first and uh, see what happens. But looks like uh, let me get it out here. Let me see the door. Well, it opens from both sides, it looks like. Come over here. Come over here, Mom. Looks like you... I bet that's a back. You think that's a back? Oh, wow, looky there. Oh. You like that? Oh, yeah. You, we you put a thousand eggs in there. I know, I bet you can. Let's look at the front of it, that's the back. We'll have to learn how to use it, you know it? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, with me looking at all the reviews and stuff. Hey, Dad. Let me, let me pull this out here and we'll kind of, I'll kind of tell you what's going on. Um, this is, okay, so here, here it is, I'm pulling out. One of the reasons why I really like this one is it comes with, which this is your water that you keep up here to keep your water so you can keep your humidity going. Um, what I like about it is you got your egg turner in there, but when, so when you're, when you get ready to, when you get ready to put these guys on lockdown, that's what these are. You got these little clips here. You put them right here. You stack them on one another. And then, um, that way when they hatch, they can't jump out, but you can still have two more rows going. And how, how they made that happen is because once you pull these out, you see that each one of them 
each one of them has their own individual motor on it. So when you come up here, you got a plug in here that you plug your motor in. Wow. And that's what's going to turn it. Don't open that yet. Okay. That's what's going to turn it. And with that being said is, um, say if a motor goes out, you don't lose the whole batch. You just lose that row. So we're super excited about that. Hey dad. Uh, Do you want to see inside this? Not yet, Bubba. Yeah. And oh, they stack neatly too. I like that. We'll get a Ziploc bag to put them in. Which these, I mean, these little, these little trays here, I mean, they do look small. And like I say is, you know, we're going to test everything out before we even mention any type of names or anything. They are small, but you get six, row, six, six rows of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, it's supposed to fit about 180 eggs is what you can actually put in here. And the hatch rate is supposed to be unreal. So we also have tons of eggs that are ready to go into the incubator. We put them in right now. Yeah, so what we're going to do is once we get it in there, we'll set it up and make sure we get the right temperature and then we can put them in there. You're gonna uh, have to be careful with them, okay? There you go. One more. There you go. This is not a sponsored video. Some products we use on the farm and you know, I, I'm not this careful on because it may be something simple or something we're just gonna use briefly, but this here we're gonna use for a good while and this is a lot of money. So we're going to keep it in there. And, and once we're not, we- We're not selling it. No, no, we're not selling it. Never, once never, we never. decide if it's a good enough incubator, we'll then uh, release the name. Put those in. Huh? Are we putting those in? Good deal. It's all looking ready. Look how pretty and shiny it is. Oh, it's cracked right there. Watch it, son. That gummit. Is it all the way through? Mm -hmm. oh, all right, so guys, I just felt inside of it. It does not feel like it's all the way through here. Um, actually, I'm gonna look in the back side one more time. All right, I, still, I'm gonna keep this document. I'm gonna put it in this video just so it's documented. If something does come of it, um, we have proof it was like that when we got it. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put this back in here. And uh... all right, guys, me and Casey's gonna go gather the eggs and then we're gonna go back and what? Hatch them. We're gonna put them in the incubator, huh? Yep. So let's go up here and see how many eggs we got for the day. And um, hey, who put the chickens up? Huh? How'd them chickens get back in there? I don't know. Did mama do that? I think mama did. I think you did. No, I didn't do that. So. Well, that checked them out. Probably. Probably empty. But I'm gonna. Uh uh, you don't go in this one right now. Why? That rooster. No, he. he Last time I got a stick okay. and blocked him off. All right, we gotta hurry. Okay. Back, back. See if there's any eggs. One. Got one, look inside. Good none. All right, let's go. Let's oh, move to the no, next one. Somebody already laid this. Huh? Somebody already laid that. What do you mean somebody already laid but it? Feel it, feel it, actually. Oh, it is, they just laid it, huh? Sure enough. <laughs> Open the gate. Oh. Mm. 
that rooster not even mean to me. Right? Yep. I'll be nice to him. You know how I did it? How? Uh, get a stick and uh, block him off with block it. Block him off? Yeah. Well, let's go in here. I oh, I, I see some in here. Let's get these boys out of here. Oh my. These are my favorite. Back. Jubilees. Jubilees. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Back, girls. Oh, we got. What do you got? One, three. Got three of them. Kind of feel warmer. Does it? Feel warm. All right. All right. We got three eggs and we got five <laughs> in, so we're moving up. All right. Yep. All right. You got one. Nope. 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 Oh, nope. just got one today. Yeah. How about that? Back up, hen. Uh, I know where there are some turkey eggs. Me too. I found a hidden spot where one of the turkeys was laying their eggs in our shop. Wait. So we're going to get those turkey eggs. Um, you just have to let them be in an incubator a little bit longer than a chicken egg. Uh, so. Uh, meet me at the door over there. All right, so we found some of the turkey eggs. I'm gonna go inside and uh, put them in there too. How much was there? There's about 12 of them. Open it. All right, so we got all of our eggs now. Now we put them in here, right? Yep, yeah, we're gonna we're o gonna put them in here. Open this bad boy. Yeah, we will. Just a second. I want to look see how many. How hot's the turkey deal gonna be? I'm gonna open the incubator for the first time and get ready to set his own eggs. Oh, I feel warm. It does. <sighs> you excited? Mm -hmm. All right, so what we're gonna do here. Open the oven. All right, this, I'm hold, on, hold on, hold on. Got, we got some more eggs over here that we're gonna bring, okay? okay I'm, uh, you start on the top road and I'll talk, uh, Start on the uh, um, bottom row since I'm not uh, where it is. All right, so hold on. Uh, we got to figure out what way to put them in there because put it like this here. Put your pointed end down. Oh. Easy. What? All right. Go go ahead and go. Dad to finish this up. Then you come to the gate, right? Yeah. All right. Tell them. Put one more. Put one more. All right. Yeah. Uh, this one. Well, Kason's got to get ready to go game. Um, Wait, do I have a game? Oh, your sister's got a game. All right, guys. So we're not. I'm not going to actually finish this out. I'm going to go ahead and go to the ball game with them, and then when we get back home, me and Kate. Case and can finish it out. Oh, good job, sis. We just got back from the ball game. <clears throat> uh, Braylee. Oh, Braylee. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out something here. Mm, Tanya. The tiniest, tiniest. Wait, that. I, I, I think that fit there, Daddy. Huh? I think that. It's just a super tiny, tiny, tiny. And tinier. Is that fit? It looks like it's still me, but I know that every time. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking the turkey eggs out of these styrofoam ones and I'm putting them in here 
I know what days they're going to hatch. So um, I just trust this thing a, more than I trust this styrofoam incubator, especially what we just had over there. They're actually going, these turkey eggs here are going to be um, hatching the same day the chick eggs are um, because turkey eggs are 28 days and chicken eggs are 21 days. them down for the night. I just got to thinking about that. I'm just going to put these eggs over here and let them hatch. So we won't have to wait very long to see hatching results. No, it won't be the same, but now we should come back in the morning and there should be baby chicks just like that. Um, there's, I think, three or four of them that's actually peeking. Uh, maybe this will make it a little bit easier for them. But um, like I say, I'm going to go back and look at the footage, how much I can put into this video. And if we need to make it a little bit longer, I'll carry on tomorrow. But if not, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, we still got a little bit of merch left. We still got our hats. Um, most definitely, um, we still got a few hats left. And we got several shirts left. So, if you're interested, click on the link in the description box. Go get you some merch. Hope each and every one of y'all have a wonderful day. God bless. Chicken, chicken, open it. Hold on, no, hold on. I didn't hear it. No, I told you to hear it. No, you have to open it and see. No, Look. you can't open this very much because if you do, it messes the eggs up. I didn't hear one. I did. So, I want to see. I'm right. I know there's something in it. We can't leave this open very much. Oh, yep, right there. Look you there. Let's pull this baby There's up. There's one back there. No, that, that ain't an egg. Oh, there's a couple. Oh, there's four. Nope. There's still some more peeking out. There's one right there. Let's get them out there. Looks like some AM Samani's. It's all black. All right, so he's got four baby chicks. That means that we got like three. Oh, there was four. There's two, two uh, blue and two yellow. So I'm trying to think. <gasps> the yellow may be buffs.